Hello and welcome. My name is R3LYT, aka Tyler, and I'm gonna show you how to downgrade your Skater XL to the 1.1.0.5 version. And I'm gonna give thanks to Dante real quick because he actually showed me how to do this on his tutorial video. It's just the only reason why I'm making my own is I found out in the Discord a lot of people get confused over his tutorial. And I'm gonna just take his and kind of like update it. Not really updating it, but give a little bit more detail and ways that I found that people get confused. And I'm gonna show you how to fix that if that makes sense. So first, what you're gonna do is I'm gonna make a folder right here and name it Depot downloader okay my screen fucked up it just does this so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go inside of it and here it is then where you're gonna go is down below I'm gonna list uh, Dante's video and I'm gonna list the downloads of what you need so the two things you need is one depot downloader and two dot net right here is depot downloader you click on 2.4.5 and it's going to be the dot zip you click here to download it just put it in your downloads folder if this pops up since i already have it i'm not going to download it uh, i don't want to waste space but i am going to make a new folder and go to my downloads uh, it's desktop downloads. So I'm gonna put these two to the side, and it is right here. Depot downloader. Exit out of this. Here it is. I'm gonna drag all this stuff in here into this folder. All right. So now you want to download .net. And I'm going to leave that down below. And how to do that is this is .NET right here. Uh, I just downloaded the 64 version right here. You click this, download it to your WinRAR, or not WinRAR. Download it to your desktop. Since I already have it, I'm not going to download it again. I'm going to go to my downloads and open it. You just click install install it like any other application for me i'm going to just hit repair and it's going to repair everything just make sure that it's not outdated and stuff okay. here's the the most complicated part that people are getting mixed up about i'm going to exit out of this hold windows key Okay, first you want to hold Windows key and hit R to bring up your run. Or you can just type in command prompt down here. But if you're holding Windows key and hit R, type in CMD and hit OK. And here's the complicated part. You're going to type in CD desktop and CD space depot download here but since mine file was named 2 I'm gonna put 2 all right so here's one mistake that people not it's not a mistake but it's like a thing that they get confused about if you type in CD desktop and there's a message name and it says like error and you can't find like the file location what you want to do with that happening is you open your depot downloader folder click this bar right here and copy that file location and you can go to windows r and type in cd space control v and you're kind of paste it like that and hit enter and it should work after you find your file location and you got it set, you're going to type in 
dot net like this and before you ever hit enter in this sentence or text uh make sure you have dot net downloaded if not it will not work so now you type in dot net like this depot download -er dot dll base dash app is nine six two seven three zero base dash depot base nine six two seven three one all right make sure that's a one so the first one zero the second one is a one base many best all right now we're gonna do space uh we have the number i'm gonna have the number down below so you can just copy and paste it but for the people that just like type fast i'm gonna say it really fast it is eight eight five six nine six Nine two three two nine five three two four seven one six zero like that base username or dash username all right now we're gonna type in the semicolons or whatever it's not these it's not these ones but it's that if that makes sense now you're going to type in the username that you sign in to steam with if that makes sense so if you don't know what that is if you go to steam settings it is right here in this little area it's your account name here it's not this one on the top it's the one in your settings type this in i'm going to type in uh user name space dash password semicolon or so many quotations is it quotation yeah uh and you kind of type in your password i'm not going to type in mine obviously you're not going to get into my account but i'm going to type in password semicolons right if you have two-step authentication, you need to disable it on your phone. So go to your phone Steam app and you can go to your remove authenticator and you can disable it uh, or else it won't work. It will give you an error message. Um, so after you hit enter, it will give you like go to your email and type in the code. You'll just type in the code and you should be good it will download it make sure it says a hundred percent uh exit out the uh, cmd and now you have the modded version of well now you have the downgraded version of skater xl since i have it this is what it's supposed to look like now you have a depot depots folder you go to here click on the numbers and click on this number too and now we have this you will not you will not have mods but since i have mods uh, i have it in here so now let's try to install a mod first you're going to go to unity mod manager so unity mod manager i still have my in a raw version So yours is kind of say Skater XL on the folder right here. If you already installed mods, 
Uh, if you haven't, I'm going to link uh, Unity Mod Manager down below as well. Uh, and you click Game Schedule Excel uh, folder. What you're going to do is the normal version. You just go to your Schedule Excel folder uh, where you downloaded the game. But since you want to install mods on the later or earlier version, what you want to do is you go to your desktop, depot downloader, depots, the numbers, numbers again, click the numbers so you have it selected and hit OK. And an install button should pop up, just hit install. And I found that installing mods to the Unity Mod Manager on the older version will break it. So if you want to install mods on uh, the older version, what you do is you go to your depot downloader folder, click on the numbers again, and you now should have a mod folder. So let's say uh, if I go to my downloads. Let's say you want to install gear modifier. You click this and you drag this folder into your mods folder. It should work. Drag in this folder in here and now you have the installed version of gear modifier. That goes the same with any other mod like sound mod XXL3. Uh, there are mods that do break because they're meant for the earlier or newer version of Skater XL. They're not meant for the downgraded version. So you just have to experiment of which mods. You will know instantly because it will lag your game and you cannot play it anymore. You just down, uh, delete it and it should fix it. And this is where you start the game. Uh, some people like it on their Steam. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So if you go to your Steam, click on Add Game at the bottom left. Add Non-Steam Game. I'm going to let it load. Alright, now you can hit Browse. And you can go to your Desktop. Depot Downloader. Depots, numbers, and click skaterxl.exe and hit open. Give it a second. Make sure it's the only one checked and add selected programs. Now, if I go to my library, this is the 1.1.0.5 and this is 1.2.2.4, I believe, yes. The newer version and there you go um, I'm gonna also show you how to uh, install assets and stuff for the gear modifier as well what you would do is if you go to your uh, file explorer and go to your documents uh, Skater XL and gear modifier right here. I'm gonna click on asset packs. All right, so now we're gonna install the meshes and different textures of pants that you might want in your gear modifier. So I'm going to add a new window in downloads. So I downloaded some. If I refresh, there we go. So this is the asset right here. You're going to put this in your assets folder. And you're going to go to Butterwood here. And you're going to just drag those into here actually into your asset pack actually correction 
what you do is you put your assets into your Excel gear modifier you put your assets in your assets pack and you put the textures into your gear folder. So I have a bunch of these, uh, don't question them, but they are right here. You just drag them in and you should be good. So we can give it a second. Don't touch anything yet. Let it load. We're going to click a button on our controller. Let it load. Do not click anything or else your game is going to break. Now, since it's loaded, we're going to close game, making sure everything works. Now we're going to go to character. Custom meshes, and it should be in bottoms. I believe so. Yeah, there we go. It's right here on Progear. That's it. Those are the messages I downloaded. Uh, uh. They look pretty good. Now let's get these for a little bit. There we go. That's kind of dope. Uh, Alright, I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. I hope it helped. Shout out to Dante for making that tutorial and then getting, teaching me how to do this and basically showing you the updated, not updated, but like more detailed version on how to downgrade your Skater XL. Uh, I do have a Skater XL edits channel. It is called Nef Crew. I'm going to list that down below if you want to go check that out. Uh, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Talk to you guys later. Just go mad. Concealing my feelings for these months and months. Yeah, up in a cell.